appreciate that. Well, we are, um, we're going to go back, I, I, and I'll just tell you up front, I'm not, I'm not going to finish uh, this thought tonight. We, we began last Sunday dealing with um, the uh, pursuit of, of uh, spiritual maturity and maturity in Christ, and we dealt with the, the idea, the, the, the thought of dealing with personal conflicts. How do we, in a mature way, biblically deal with uh, personal conflicts? And so we began to look at that last week. We're going to look at it a little bit more tonight, but I do not intend to finish it because I intend to be a little bit um, more brief than, well, this morning. This morning, I don't know, I don't know if it felt long to y'all, but uh, it was a good bit longer than I normally go this morning, and, uh, and I want to try to compensate for that this evening. Amen? Amen. Uh, see, there, there's, oh, oh, oh wow, wow. <laughs> Wow, I get. I was waiting for. I was waiting for Brother Sonny. I was normally hear him say, "Amen." He got a mint in his mouth. That's why he couldn't say. So my wife helped you out. She she amen real fast. All right, but uh, yeah yeah yeah. I, I could I could sense the thought was there. All right, but uh, if you would take your Bibles to Matthew eighteen, Matthew eighteen, and uh, verse number fifteen to verse number twenty two is uh, is our focus and. Uh, I will, uh, I'm going to read these, not, not that much, uh, not, not that many verses to read, but I'm going to read these verses very quickly again, and uh, I'm not going to rebuild on all that we dealt with so far, but we're going to begin to look at um, the first two of, uh, of four things that, um, that we can do biblically to, uh, to deal with personal conflict. And again, this is just, we're, we're, 